250 Gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I'm your host, Michael T. Porter. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I am bringing the news to your ass like none other. But before I begin, y'all hit that like button, the subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. And if you would like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. U.S. Navy sailor Julian Jefferson out there acting a fool. This man has did uh, some unholy things to his fellow sailor. Went to her dorm room, all worded her, essayed her, and the Navy let him go. And while he was on bond, from this incident in California, he essayed his fellow sailor in California. While he was on board, he went out there to Fairfield, Texas to brutally murder an innocent 20-year-old woman. And people can't believe that this man was even allowed to leave the confines of the Navy. I got a couple of videos I want to play for y'all, and I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. Family of a victim whose death may have involved foul play, according to Fairfield Police, confirmed with KWTX that the person is 22-year-old Denise Lizette Ramos. Police have not confirmed this. Officers say on March 28th, they responded to a call regarding a welfare check at a home on Clark Street where they found a body. News 10's Jasmine Lott spoke with the father about steps the family is taking to send their loved one off in the right way. Louis Ramos says Denise was the type of person who's always willing to give to others with a smile. Now he's hoping the community would pitch in to help the person who's always gave to others. Caring. Um, she's the type of person who does everything for everybody else. A kind, caring soul is now gone forever, leaving her father brokenhearted. Um, unfortunately, I think she's a little too nice. Sometimes a little too helpful, but I mean, that's just who she is. Fairfield police say they responded to a call regarding a welfare check at 800 Clark Street on March 28th. But once they arrived, they found a body. Louis Ramos says that body is his 22 year old daughter, Denise Lissette Ramos. Ramos says as a Marine Corps veteran who was deployed to Afghanistan and Iraq, there's no greater challenge than burying your own child. There's something missing. You can feel it. There's a an emptiness a hole that I'll never be I'll never be able to fill and I know that I'll never feel the same again Ramos says he wasn't given all the details but knows Denise went out drinking on March 27th with some friends but at some point the group separated I do know that they said that they did leave her alone and some people were supposed to stay there and look out for her I do know a lot of people that have say they're her friends there but they're really not and a lot of people used her and let her down and failed her. The family started a GoFundMe to pay for Denise's celebration of life and a memorial. Ramos says since she was such a positive person, the family wanted to send her off in a brighter way. Regardless of who it was, she was always trying to make somebody smile. She was always trying to make somebody ha happy. Uh, so we're trying to do a celebration of life for people to get together, talk about her family, friends. Ramos wants parents to remind your children to always be on your toes and never assume the unthinkable won't happen times we live in now you have to be cautious of everybody including with friends you know um you, we have to look out for each other more often you know a lot of things that we do can be prevented i tried reaching out to the Fairfield police department for an update but haven't heard back according to the gofundme the funeral is on april 27th if you want to donate you can find that link on our website kwtx.com in the studio jasmine lads kw the police department released a statement saying that 20-year-old Julian Jefferson has been charged with capital murder in the death of Denise Lisette Ramos. News 10's Isabella Quintanilla spoke with Ramos's father about how their family is feeling after these charges and what's next. Isabella? 
Lauren and Gordon, on March 28th, the Fairfield police discovered the body of 22-year-old Denise Ramos and immediately opened an investigation into her death. Now we finally know the name of the man police suspect is responsible. For weeks now, the Fairfield Police Department has been working with the Texas DPS, the Texas Rangers, and the NCIS to collect evidence linking Julian Jefferson to the murder of Denise Ramos. Today, they announced that Jefferson has been charged with capital murder. Negative, Denise's negative. father, Luis Ramos, shared his reaction to the news. It's, it's left a, 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 a huge scar on our family life, um, you know, not only for myself and my wife, but for my, my you know, my younger children. Um, but you know we do feel a sense of some justice uh they got some evil bastards out here. We gotta protect our children even if they i don't have any kids but we got to protect our babies because you got some satanic people walking around here some relief that knowing that he won't be able to hurt anybody else um out there that he he's going to be exactly where he belongs and that's locked up for the rest of his life ramos who has been following the investigation closely explained that jefferson is in the navy at a base in california and came to fairfield while on leave according to ramos there were past incidents with jefferson prior to the death of denise and he hopes that by sharing her story any other victims will come forward if he's done this to somebody else or someone else's child you know i i, I would love to be able to help in, in, in some way shape or form the police affidavit states that Jefferson is currently in federal custody for a separate and unrelated crime in California. Ramos also told me that officials have filed an extradition warrant so that Jefferson can be brought back to Texas and tried by the grand jury. For us as a family, and I'm sure, you know, the police still have a little bit of investigating to do, but as a family, we're looking towards the next part of this um, uh, of this series of events that's going to come in, which is the trial phase. There, they will present all of the evidence that investigators have uncovered linking Jefferson to the crime of capital murder. It could be another month or so before a court date is set, and Ramos says they still have a long road ahead of them, but that he believes they have a solid case. Great big smile is Luis Ramos's daughter, Denise Lissette Ramos. She's sweet. She, you know, she was the type of person to give you her, you know, the shirt off her back if you needed it, her last dollar. Lewis, a loving father, gushing about his 22-year-old daughter, his world. But in late March, that world shattered. Police knocked on his front door. It was 4 o'clock in the morning. They asked to come in, um, so I invite them in, and they that's when they informed me that um, my daughter was uh, murdered. On Monday, police in Fairfield, Texas, a small city about an hour outside of Waco, announced they charged 20-year-old Julian Jefferson with capital murder in the death of Denise Ramos. We're very happy that he was found and that, you know, he he's going to have to, you know, be held accountable for what he did to my daughter. ABC 10 News uncovered the story doesn't end in Texas. Jefferson has ties to San Diego County. According to Navy records, Julian Jefferson was stationed at Naval Air Station North Island in November of 2022. A Navy spokesperson says two months later, Jefferson was charged by the Navy for sexually assaulting a female sailor. Nine months later, in November 2023, these charges were referred to general court-martial. In March of 2024, Denise Ramos was found dead in Fairfield, Texas. Two months later, back in California, Jefferson pled guilty to rape and burglary for that January 2023 incident. He was sentenced to 20 years behind bars and is in the brig at Miramar. A spokesperson for the Navy tells us Jefferson was initially placed in pre-trial confinement in January of 2023. He was released after a detention hearing. While the Navy wouldn't comment on his status in between that release and the alleged crime in Texas, they did say he was on leave at the time he was arrested in Texas. I know they weren't thinking about my daughter at the time because it had not happened, but had they taken into consideration the safety of their own personnel as well as the safety of the people of San Diego, uh, I think, you know, had they locked them up or did something, I, I think my daughter would still be alive today. As the Ramos family waits for what's next in their daughter's case, the latest charge is giving them a chance to move forward a little bit. This whole thing. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 gemstones news commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. This man is the worst of the worst. This brother's only 20. Let me know it. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. I believe he's... No, the girl was 20. Julian... Oh, yeah, I was right. Damn, I'm good. Denise Ramos was 22. He's 20. He's only 20. He's done. This man was in the Navy. 
Why did the Navy let this nigga go? I don't understand. He brutally all worded his fellow sailor. They know about it. They threw him in the Navy uh, detention, detention center and they let him go. He's deranged. And I don't know his background coming up. Something happened in that household. This boy is messed up. This is why, like, it, it's just absolutely crazy how it's Satan, you, you can't escape Satan. You can't escape the evil that's going on in this world. It's in the police department. It's in the military. It's in the governor's office, the Oval Office, the street office. It's on the streets everywhere. So looking at this story, I don't have any kids. I can just imagine the heartbreak of your, of your daughter, only 22 Woo! Never to grow up. I don't know. If she, I, I think she finished college, but never to grow up to have kids of her own. And, and, the, and the, the father said she was too nice. The father said she was too nice. So sometimes being too nice, yeah, you do have to understand that being too nice will get you messed up in the world. There's a lot of evil people. I'm very territorial. I am very dis uh, defensive. Once I sense that you try to play me, like you try to handle me a certain way, like you try to come at me, I'm gonna get at you right then and there because eventually I'm gonna get at you. I'm gonna get at you. I'm gonna get at you. So every time you stand up for yourself, I can just feel a demonic spirit when they come. I can just feel like uh, a person's intentions. I can just feel it. And that, and that comes from you know, growing up in the jungle, you got to be on point. Violent thoughts always run through my mind, not because I like to be violent, because violent, you don't want to be caught off guard. You have to be on point. Now, I don't know what it's like to be a woman, but as a man, most men are violent. Most men don't exercise their violent thoughts because we don't want to go to jail. We got to get this money and take care of our family. We have to be out in the free world to take care of business. But at the same time, if it's absolutely necessary, I'm gonna exercise some violent thoughts. Black, black man, white man, Latino, Middle Eastern, all men have a violent streak. They have a, a certain, uh, most men. But a thinking man, a good man, that's what I'm saying, the difference between being nice, nice man is gonna let anything slide. A good man is gonna analyze the situation. He's always going to put positivity first. He's always going to, the mind's on building, the mind's on uplifting others. That's a good man. Putting everything in order in his rightful place. When if, but if it's time to stand up for yourself, when it's time to draw down, it's time to draw down. The gloves are off and it's time to do absolute damage. Because, like I said, I don't know what it's like to be a woman, but as a man, we have to go out into this world and protect our family. We've got to protect ourselves. We have to fight for what we believe in. So, uh, a certain level of violence. Now, how violence, how far a man's willing to go, that's on each individual man. But violence is necessary, right? But it shouldn't be at the forefront. I believe in diplomacy. I believe in talking things out. If you can talk things out, always talk it out and let stupid shit go on. I mean, go about your business, bro. But for, but sometimes, you know, with it, there are situations, the violence that must be exercised when you're faced with a situation that it's unavoidable. What you gonna do? You can't let this chump play. You can't let this dude disrespect you. You can't let somebody, like, for instance, you minding your business. This is a good man. You minding your business and some guy, or say some uh, stupid little gang members or whatever, uh, grab on your girl, like, you know, disrespect your girl, call her a bee in front of you. Damn, bitch, you look good. Hey, let me get your number. And you standing right there. They're looking for trouble. So, I'm not saying that you have to be violent right away. Diplomacy meaning that you're going to uh, check them right then and there. Hey, bro, you see me right here. Don't play with me like that. You know, and it's not what you do. It's how you have to mean every word you say. You got to look them in their eyes. Your eyes want to tell them everything. You're willing to take their life for playing with you and playing with your woman. Right? So, I don't like I said, I don't know, I don't know what it's like to be a woman, but I know... That it's unfortunate that this father and y'all see in the videos he loved his baby girl. And when your baby girl get murdered by uh, this scumbag, by this, uh, I don't know how people believe in the system so much. I don't. I believe in the system to a degree because we need do need law and order. 
I believe in the military. I believe if Congress get their shit together, you know, to a degree. But there's people that really believe wholeheartedly that police officers and military people and all these people can do no wrong. That is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Girl's only 22. He's only 22 lives are lost. He will be doing life in prison. And because that's just the second charge. He, he killed Denise. Denise Ramos. And... Yeah, he killed Denise Ramos. That's his second charge. That's the murder charge. But he SA'd his fellow sailor. So he still gotta do time for that. This is a sick man. Very sick man. Flood my comments. Y'all stay safe out there. 250 Capital G. I'm gone.